Newtonian telescopes are a bit rubbish. I mean, they're not, and I don't want to belittle the work of Sir Isaac Newton, but the ones you buy in the shops need quite a lot of work to make them work really well. I've discovered that everything, literally everything, will fight you. Everything will be loose, everything will move, and everything will prevent you from producing a final good image. The first thing you probably want to do on a Newtonian telescope is stop light leaks. Newtonian telescopes are really light leaky. They leak everywhere, but particularly from the base. You really need to cover the primary mirror end of the telescope to stop the light leaks. The focuser and any filter drawers will also need to be covered so that you don't have any light leaks on them. I put tape around the base of my focuser and I also wrap felt around the coma corrector and the focuser to prevent any light entering to the focus tube. Newtonian telescopes, because of their size, are absolute dew magnets. The secondary mirror will be soaking wet and the tube will get really wet as well during a night of imaging. If you live in a climate which is susceptible to dew, then you're almost certainly going to want some dew heaters on your secondary mirror and possibly around the base at the primary mirror. Fitting a dew shield is a really good way to prevent moisture building up in the telescope tube. The dew shield works by delaying the time it takes for the dew to build up in the telescope. It's also really useful for preventing stray light leaks from entering the telescope tube. Newtonian telescopes need a very long time to cool down before you start using them. It's really important to allow your telescope to cool down to the ambient temperature before you start using it. Rigging the telescope a couple of hours before you're using it gives the telescope time to cool down and acclimatise to the temperature outside. Check that your primary mirror is not loose. It's really important that the mirror does not move during a night of imaging. The mirror clips want to be just tight enough to support the primary mirror without pinching the optics. To stop the mirror from moving, you can put small amounts of rubber strips or more cork strips behind the mirror or around the edges to prevent the mirror from moving. It's all about stopping the mirror from moving. It's not about having the mirror held really tightly because that will distort the mirror and cause the optics to pinch. The mirror clips can also cause optical defects and diffraction spikes around stars. It can be useful to add an aperture mask to your telescope, which will mask out the mirrors. However, this does have a disadvantage in that it reduces the size of the mirror that is able to gather light during imaging. Calibration frames are essential for all astrophotography, but in particular with Newtonian telescopes. It will remove vignetting and any dust artefacts that are within the optical chain. It's essential that flats are taken for each imaging session. So if you do, say, two or three nights, take a set of flats for each of those imaging nights. And of course, remember to take dark flats as well, or flat darks. Newtonian telescopes can be tricky and they will fight you all the way to prevent you from doing good imaging. But when they work and when you get everything working well, the images are stunning.